there's a lot of good things happening on your serve. Great fundamentals. You got good uh, body loading, good power sources being utilized. The two things that I'm a little bit worried about is your racket drop and the way the wrist is positioned throughout the swing, where it almost looks like you serve with a forehand grip. But like we talked about yesterday, you don't, right? Yes, I don't think so. Let me, let me see another one. Let me just see the... Okay. When, I say, when I say stop, you freeze everything, okay? Okay. So serve, I'm going to stay stop. Stop! And now just stay like this. Turn over towards me. Okay. It's in the same position, but your wrist is, is, is bent weirdly. Okay, do another one. Yeah, I'll give you the ball. Okay, I think this is somewhat related to your racket drop. So let me show you what happens on your racket drop. It's almost as if you're trying to knock a head off your head. You're going, you're going like... Yes, and this is not... I swear for God that I'm not trying to do this. It's happening by itself. Because yes, I don't yes. remember it from four years ago. It looked different, your serve. Yes, it was yes. more going here. And, and she... And the yeah. serve was like this. Yes. Not like this. Now it's coming here. Yes. What I do to this happen, yeah. I just relax my, my arm. That's a, just the thing that I do. Okay, so it's not the end of the world, and you can be somewhat close to your head. That's not a necessarily a problem. But I feel like this looping motion is not very effective. Yeah. Okay, because I don't think you end up accelerating the same way you would when you're coming in here and then out here. Yeah. This is a little bit faster. This is a little bit slower. Yeah. Okay, because the racket has to go here, and then from here it has to go down. It's yeah. a longer path. Yeah. I don't see any professional level players that go here. Yeah. There's different styles. There's the open faced racket drop like this, like Sampras and Becker yeah. and Federer. And then there's one that goes on edge back. Yes, the on edge racket drop. So, so the on edge racket drop is more similar to what you do. But when you see players, even the ones that are very close to their head, they drop here. I feel like there's an additional movement with you where you're going like this. Yeah. So yeah. we're going to try to eliminate that. Okay. Now, the easy way to eliminate that is by simply starting further away from your head, not allowing the racket to come this far over, okay. but to keep the racket somewhere here. Okay. And then when you from here go in, we're going to be okay. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So go there. So instead of going like this, yeah. you're going to go here and then just go from there. Okay. Can I start? Now do the full motion. Do the full motion. Okay. Well, uh, I do have the... to come right here, right? No. But so when you see, this is your head, right? Okay. So I think it's going to be too extreme to go here. Okay. There's too much of a change. Okay. So you're going like here, okay? okay. So we're going to go to about right here. Okay. Okay. Just like this. So you're gonna you're gonna go a little bit further back. As the as the racket goes up, you're gonna go a little bit further back. Okay. All right. That's step number one. Okay. Yes. Okay. It's gonna be tough because it still went here. Yeah. Do it again. Yes. One more time. Okay. That's a little better. Come again. Yes, I tried to stay. That was better. With my I didn't stop on my trophy, but when I passed to my trophy... You can, you can definitely um, be more cognizant of where the racket is going to be positioned. When you accelerate and let go, this is where you're going to be more in the intuitive part of the serve. Okay. But where the racket ends up as you're pulling it up, that's something you can control consciously. Okay. So you can take the racket like this, you can take it like this, okay. many different styles. So you can control where the racket ends up. And I want it to end up a little bit further away. Okay. than you normally would. So not here, but rather here. Okay. That's so much better, man. So much better. Okay, better. Do it again. More time. Okay, how does that feel? Does it feel completely different or? Yes, uh, I think like no problem to serve like this. No problem? No problem, I can serve like this. Okay. Uh, I'm just open more my chest. Yeah, I, that's, that's what good. I felt. You know? I like that. Yes, yes, so it's something like this. Yes. And then I go. Okay, good. That's so, the way that I find true control here. So that's step number one. Do like about 10 more of these, okay? Felipe, okay. this is a lot better. Yes. It's a lot better. It's pumping a lot more. Say again? It's pumping. Oh it yes, better. you feel the, the, yeah. the you feel yeah. the, the, yeah. the heat coming off of it. Speed. Okay, good. Yes. Now the second issue related to the first one, there's a little bit of a racket drop leak. Okay. You know what I'm talking about? 
Uh, so yeah. you go, you go in here before you unload with the body. Okay. So you are going here, where you bent like this, you load it, then you go here first, and then you go up. Okay. So we need to make that happen simultaneously. Okay. So now we're going to do progression where you start like this, you're bent, you toss the ball up, and then you unload okay. and, and drop at the same time, okay? Okay. So start in the trophy, start in the trophy, load, bend, bend, no, 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 no. Uh, bend, bend. bend right away, bend right away. Now toss, unload. Still a little bit of a leak, bend. I saw Because the problem is that when you start here and you do, do your normal rhythm, it, it's going to be more difficult to time the unloading. Okay. That's why I like you to start bent like this. It's going to be very weird. Put your racket here, bend already, toss, and from here you can control okay. it better. I feel it still there's a little bit of a leak. I see the racket is moving slightly. So freeze the racket, hold it firm here. Okay. Freeze. So, but I, I'm freeze. Yes. So, uh, what time can I go? See, the issue is that if I'm able to see the racket going back with the naked eye, okay, I already know it's a racket drop leak. Okay, okay. Because okay. it's going to happen very this? slowly. Okay. It's now. Why is a racket drop leak bad? Well, because you are uh, killing your acceleration and your range of motion. Is it a huge problem? No. There's many, many players on the WTA tour, even in the top 50, who have a racket drop leak. Okay. So it's not the end of the world. You lose maybe one to five percent of power, okay. but I want to make your serve optimal. Okay. And when you look at ATP, you rarely, if ever, see a racket drop leak. Okay. Okay. So, so this is something that should be corrected. Okay. Yeah. Sure. And there's a difference in severity of the leak. If you look at the rack level, some people have a severe racket drop leak where they're in down here before they start unloading. Okay. So yours is very, very small, very tiny racket drop leak, but nevertheless, it's connected to the whole thing where. This part I don't really like on your serve. Yes, you know? yes. Okay. Me too. <laughs> so do it again. Felipe, look. Stop yourself from going here. Stay, stand right here so you can see. Here, you're gonna be here. You're gonna bend, right? Now you're gonna stop yourself. You're gonna be conscious of freezing here and waiting. And then going like this, unloading together. Okay. Let me show you again. You're gonna you're gonna freeze the racket here. You're gonna really think about not letting it go like this. Okay. Wait here. And then you, okay, when, you, when, you get, when you're getting ready to like unleash the whole system, you go. Okay. By the way, that killed my shoulder. <laughs> make, sure, make sure you warm up before you do this. Hold. You see how much more pace you get? Yeah. All right, do it again. Okay. Now it's, you know what's interesting with your leak is like there's a drift forward actually. Yes. Because your muscle did. memory wants you to go here again. Yeah. It wants you to go here. So you really got to block this. Okay. And go. It's much better. And do another one. Okay, now do a full service motion. Let me take a look. Okay, one more time. Okay, one more time, Felipe. One more time. Okay, one more time. Freeze the racket more. Come on, try to delay it. Try to delay it as much as you can. That was probably the best one so far. Look, racket drop leak, it takes time to fix. So don't be like expecting this to be fixed fast. You're okay. just gonna have to do these progressions as much as possible. Okay. But when I just look at your serve without understanding what's wrong and just looking at the optics of it, something's, something's wrong. And that's why I asked you um, a couple days ago whether you're serving with a forehand grip, you don't. But now I, I actually saw what's happening. And it's related to the first two things we talk about. So let me show you. Here, stand right here. So here's, here's, your, here's your grip. Everything looks fine here, okay? Everything's normal. But then, there's a turn. I turn the grip? No, no you turn my, the wrist. My, uh, my you turn the wrist. The wrist. Yeah. So now your strings are actually pointing yeah. a little bit to the corner of the back fence. Yes. And so, you actually maintain this position. You're sometimes getting a weird side spin on the ball. So we can't, we can't allow this. Okay. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna correct it by going the other way. We're going to do the roundage style just to correct this problem. So we're going to bend the wrist down. And we're going to bend it down and here. And then when it drops, it's going to extend this way. Okay. It's going to extend this way okay. as opposed to going here. Because okay. this is not a good position to be in. Because yes. the wrist can go in four different directions. 
Yes. It's okay for it to extend this way, but you don't want it this way and this way. Okay. You get this weird corner here. Okay. Okay. So we we have to be careful not allow not allowing this right here. Okay. All right. I, I felt something similar sometimes on forehand. The way that it's my wrist interfere the way that I hit the ball. It could be. It could be. But to be honest with you, I didn't really see anything like that uh, yeah. in the first two days. I didn't really see any yeah. bad wrist positions on the forehand. Okay. Because when I examined the wrist in the following way, it doesn't really matter on the forehand where it is in the pre-phase. Okay. It can be even down like this, like Andy Murray or whatever. It doesn't matter. I look at what happens when you go forward. Is it here and yours is? Yours is here. Okay. So you're fine. You don't worry about that. Okay. If the wrist is wrong at contact, you have catastrophic uh, results. Okay. You're hitting the ball on the fence. You're hitting it in the bottom of the net. And we talked about that last time where it's a little bit too much of a slap shot when you go very hard. Okay. That's completely independent from that. So don't worry about the forehand. Okay. If you are probably feeling something wrong with the wrist, it's probably a style that you don't like regarding the prep stage. So there's, there's a hundred different styles. So okay. let's say you want to copy center and you want to have the racket go here like this. Now the wrist is going to have to move a very far away to go from here to here. And some people don't like that movement and it feels wrong. So. You don't, the best thing is to just not worry about it. And if there's something that feels off, you go to the way that feels the most comfortable. Okay. The regarding okay. the forehand, okay? Okay. All right, so let's, so what we're trying to do is here, go. We're trying to prevent, hold on. We're trying to prevent this from happening. Okay. And we're gonna keep it here. We're gonna bend it down a little bit, bend, 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 bend. And then we're gonna go from here, which might in fact change the angle of the racket head re re related to your head. Okay. okay? Okay. So from here, we're going to go this way, okay. all right? That is so much cleaner, my friend. Do it again. That is so much cleaner, my friend. Do it again. Bend the wrist down. Djokovic, roundage, those type of styles. This is what's going to help us right now. More bend, more bend, down. Look, Felipe, when you go here, I want it a little bit more bent. Like this? Less. Better, and you hit an ace. Yes. Okay, do it again. Okay, do you feel do you feel better? Yeah. It's cleaned up. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's cleaned up. Let me take a look from the side. I'm gonna see where the racket goes regarding your head. Okay. Go ahead, a couple more. Okay, one more time. Okay, so it's a completely different service motion now. It looks better optically, but technically what's happening is that now your racket is still going here, but it's going in. Okay. Because before it was going over your head like this and then in. Okay. So we eliminated that. So now it's going, it's just going over your head then down, okay. but it's cleaner, it's more efficient this way. Okay. We've gotten rid of this here. Okay. So now you're not getting the weird side spin. You know what I mean by side spin? Yes. When you go like that yeah, with the yeah, ball. Yeah. The ball runs in the strings. Yeah, exactly. Like this. It's like the opposite, the reverse slice, so to speak. Yeah. You know, the opposite of a slice. Yes, there's some guys who serve like this, but they serve with forehand. When you hear, yeah, when you serve with a forehand grip, it's easier. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Have it's you a, seen? So, I have. have Pospisil serves like this. Pospisil? No. Rosal. Rosal? Yes. He have did. He made one. Yeah. He, yes. he made some aces. He against, like against our boy, he did that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. It's it crazy, is. Sir. But anyway, the serve has cleaned up. The, the toughest fix is going to be uh, the racket drop leak okay. because we're getting into that, that super fast phase of the serve and timing that can be tricky. But the rest of the things you can correct immediately. Okay. All right. I would like to now to play a couple sets. Let's play a couple sets. Okay. And we're going to, I want to monitor the serve. And then um, maybe this afternoon or tomorrow, we're going to take a look at your second serve. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's pick these up first though. So here, here, yes. I wait. And then I go. Yes, exactly. So okay. you just delay a little bit. Okay. You okay, delay. That's, that's you delay. If we, if we, if we, as a result of what we're trying to do, end up with a little bit more of a pause here, so be it. Yeah. I'm not too worried about that. Even though that's like not necessarily optimal, this pausing here and going from here is better than leaking in here and okay. accelerating from a lower yes, place. I understand. So, so don't worry about that. Just, just in your head, you're going to think about delaying and you're going to change the wrist position because from here, the wrist is gonna naturally start going like that. Okay. And that's fine. Okay. But we don't want this here. Yeah. yeah. Okay? Okay. Sorry. This, uh, like, like, we don't want this in combination with this. 
This is literally what your serve looked like in the beginning. Like it was like going like this. Okay. So that's not optimal, yeah. It looks a lot better now. Yes, you see. Okay. How good I am because I was serving like this and I can play. Listen, it's not like your service. Uh, like I said in the beginning, when I first, what was my first opener for you, sir? I said you have great fundamentals. You yeah. do a lot of things correctly. Yeah. But this That's why you serve well because you do a lot of things correctly. Yeah. 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 But doesn't matter who it is, even you if you're a even if you're a professional player, there's always going to be stuff that yeah. you can improve. Yes. For sure, for sure, you know? for sure.